the, uh, he, MacDonald, the most extraordinary example, not of his politics, but of his intelligence, was what he said during the franchise debate in Ottawa in 1885. And what he said was, the first democratic leader in the world to say it. I don't know why people haven't been told this. It's baffling. He said women should have the vote. He was the first. That is a sign of extraordinary intelligence. And I think there's an interesting teaching moment. Why, why in, in 1864, it was a legislative process. There were actually the people who the people elected actually drove the constitutional negotiations rather than simply the leaders who came to the top of the greasy pole at that particular moment. I think that's a question that remains alive. We can discuss it as the history of the 1860s, but we can discuss it about to interrogate the way our own politics works today. Change uh, must be achieved. Uh, if it's important, change has to be achieved by dramatic means, it seems. Uh, our history of incremental change and indeed persistent continuity flies in the face of that. Yet it holds the key, I believe, to one of the most valued parts of our national identity. In 2014, the country will uh, really, or uh, the, the island, but really the country will be celebrating a 150 year anniversary of the Charlottetown Conference. Yes, there will be parties and fireworks and pageants, but I hope there will also be debates, debates on the weaknesses and the strengths of those meetings in 1864 that we didn't completely finish then, nor in 1867, and I hope not in 2014 or 2017 either. We are a country that is evolving and we must be very smart about that.